guys welcome or welcome back to it's puja mahapatra and in today's video as you have already read in the thumbnail how you guys can start studying for your first year many of the colleges are not yet open for the first year because as a student of first year i haven't given my professional exam which was postponed because of the covid situation so here are a few tricks and tips and guidance as a first year student as a senior as a friend as a sister to you guys that i have followed and yeah nobody was there to tell me but somehow i managed first year and i don't want that for you guys as experienced first year student i can tell you that this has helped me a lot and for that reason i'm sharing this with you guys and if you're liking this video please give this video a thumbs up it means a lot i appreciate you guys so i have already made a lot of videos about first year things to buy in first year and what books to buy in first year also how first year is not so easy so i will leave all the links in the description box below as well as in the i button so that you guys can get an idea if you are interested and want to know more about first year so do check that So first year has four subjects that is dental anatomy dental histology anatomy biochemistry and physiology where biochemistry and physiology are combined that means in the exam you will get half paper of physiology and half paper of biochemistry that's a combined thing yeah that are the subjects for first year i have mentioned everything on the previous videos so don't forget to check them out now comes the main thing now you have given your neat exam you have studied your 11th and 12th biology and here i was totally amazed i was surprised that how 11th and 12th concepts have shaped my first year that means whatever you have studied in 11th and 12th that is a foundation for your first year medical studies whatever i have studied is very important and is playing a very vital role in my first year intro is done i think and let's move on to the main topic So this video consists of two parts. The first, I will tell you which are the parts, which are the topics that are most important for our first year learning and the basic foundation. And in the second part, I'm going to tell you what are the tips that you can try and the tricks that you can also try if you want to make your first year boom. Topic number one: cell, the basic structural and functional unit of an organism. Like cell. is literally the basic and structural unit of our medical college and our doctor life you know cell is the most important part it was proven to be true because now i have studied the first year and i know how important it is like whatever you will study everything is from cell in our ncert we study like so few lines in case of cells like we study the diagrams and we just study the lines so that we can remember but the thing is if you understand cell fully only then you just understand the basic things of any biology subject which is most amazing part guys in histology we are studying about the tissues so tissues of course it consists of clusters of cells whatever there will be the function of the cells whatever there will be the function of the cell organelles that will determine how the cell how the structure and how everything works please emphasize on the cellular structures and i want to share one story about myself and i don't want this video to be too long just sharing it because i always do that so when i started my first year in two to three lectures we had a lecture on dentin and you know dentin and enamel these are all the microscopic structures the cells we study about again the cells so there our uh, sir was asking us questions and he suddenly asked something which was related to cell he asked that there was a eight chains i'm not going to go into the depth because it will confuse you guys but there are things like that so he was asking like why the nucleus and the cytoplasmic ratios are like that and why the positions are like that so in that particular time i was like uh, for after giving it and for the counseling process it was like a huge time huge time gap i remembered things but not fully right i was excited from my college i had a lot of things to do so i just i was like no i'm not going to study anymore my neat exams are over i'm going to go to college and that's it so i haven't studied and uh, that is the reason i'm telling you guys and he asked that and out of that whole batch out of that whole group i was the only one who answered that question was able to answer i should say and i was just forgetting the term like what was the term i'm just forgetting because i hadn't revised that right i told him that there is some kind of active 
thing inside that that means there is some kind of activeness within the cytoplasm and the nucleus so i remembered that when the cell is going to divide there is a difference in the proportion of the ratio of the cytoplasm and the nucleus the nucleus becomes bigger the cytoplasm concentration just reduces and those are the things those are the very basic things that are, that are not present in the ncrt it's like a thorough thing if you have totally grasped that thing only then you can answer that and i was so happy that i could answer and i mean my friends are really hard working and they gave a lot of answer that i wasn't able to i hope that you understand what is the importance of cells second thing is human physiology oh my god i just can't explain how much important human physiology is whatever we have studied all the things like the basic basic things are being asked in the why bar you will get every single thing if you know human physiology like so in 11th whatever we have studied in human physiology all of those things are in first year so study human physiology all the system like like digestive system all those things how digestion happens what are the histological tissues present so I just couldn't say how much important human physiology is for first year. And if you know that basic things, you can go to the next level. So in first year, we study a bit depth on whatever we have studied. That means you will get into more like the mechanisms are much more there in uh, first year. You know the terms and the concepts that will help you a lot. That will just make you pass, okay? That will make you pass in first year. that much important also reproductive system is one of the important thing every single thing is so so important and it comes as a short note you know so don't forget to study and revise all those things third thing is molecular biology is i was shocked like in viva you can be asked like what is the difference between the rna and dna what is the difference in structure like that much easy things can be asked in viva and you can score marks and that is the reason i'm telling you molecular biology please go through that molecular biology will be asked in first year so don't skip molecular biology number four is enzymes so for biochemistry enzymes is one of the most important topic it is so important that it comes as a long question as well as short notes that means you can understand like how much importance enzymes carries like all the things like carbohydrate protein lipids amino acids every single thing is important study all the amino acids those can be asked as a short note also can be asked in viva so if you know about all those stuff it will be so easy for you guys and i always try to be honest to you guys that these are the things that will literally help you the cycles so cycles we haven't studied it on human physiology or enzyme part we have studied it on the plant part like in plant respiration and all those stuff so where we have studied glycolysis krebs cycle electron transport system these things are so important guys this is so important this are being asked in biochemistry as a long question so there will be long question on cycle so go through glycolysis krebs cycles all the substrate all the enzymes coenzymes go through that those are really really important for biochemistry then number 5 is vitamins so vitamins we have studied it on the digestion part for our neat examination vitamins was not really present on ncrt i guess yeah it was not present as much as i can remember it was out of the box it was important for the neat examination like all the vitamin deficiency what causes vitamin deficiency what are the things which will enhance the body and what are the important vitamins all those things are asked in vivas and also as short notes in biochemistry if you know these things it will be so much easier for you to grasp first year number 6 is all the disorders so all the genetic disorders clenny filter starner triple x and down syndrome oh my god these things are asked as a short note in anatomy as well in anatomy also you you will get this kind of thing and like one question will come from there so anatomy for anatomy also for physiology also works like a charm if you know that okay so it, if you are lucky enough you will get that question you will get that question for sure also the hormonal diseases okay so for hormones we have lots of diseases those things are important for physiology so don't skip those parts whatever i am emphasizing on go through that 
you will definitely definitely get the result and you will definitely feel much more comfortable when you are attending the class that was the topic and now i will be talking about the tips and the tricks and the first thing is write down the topics that i have told you okay so write down all the topics and if you have bought the books i have made a video on which books to buy you can also buy according to you whatever you feel like you can buy that if you have bought that book go through the topics like you have a content right you have a content list so go through the content like what are there inside the contents like topics subtopics go through that and then just mark them like whatever you know like if you know down syndrome give give it a take like i know that it will just boost your confidence level that okay i know those things and these are the things that i don't know maybe i will be focusing on them when the college opens so that thing will give you confidence at least you are working before your college starts that will also kill time so that you don't feel like tired lazy and feel like you are so unproductive so you can do that guys second tip is write all the disorders that you have studied and just keep it there keep it in your mind that you have studied the disorders and when the time comes you will be able to grasp the whole point when it goes into the depth third tip is write down the cycles because cycles are important it will come in the examination so cycles keep that in mind number four is please don't do much don't do much like don't go and start studying like you are in the college so just don't do keep it in a chill manner keep it in a fashion like okay i will enjoy i will just have a blasted first year i know what is there in first year so there is nothing to get anxious about and to become chilling do like this video <laughs> i'm just joking so please do like this video it means a lot it helps me to reach more people and i appreciate that thank you guys so you know guys college life is totally different you know it is not only about studying about becoming a doctor like in the sense of studying because everybody studies for that reason they are in medical college it's right but there are a lot of things that you're going to face that you have never ever faced never have i ever <laughs> it's kind of like that okay in college life you will face a lot 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 of thing and you have never ever imagined that this kind of things can happen and yeah that happens because it is shaping you to become not only a doctor but also a human being now you are inside that gate and you have crossed your teenage and you have become an adult a grown up so you have to go through these things and another thing is please never ever be depressed okay please never do that to yourself yeah if something happens talk to your parents do something so that you don't get into that loop hole and you cannot come out okay because what I, why i am telling this because these things will happen some things will happen that is out of your control but that doesn't mean that you will go so much depressed for somebody else for someone who have said you something because it's your life and your life is so precious to you to your parents to your family members so why will you do that to yourself for somebody else who you have just met right now i hope that you are getting what i'm trying to say college will dismantle you and i hope the best for you i know you can succeed i know you can overcome that and don't get stuck i will try my best to help you guys and thank you so much if you have and subscribe do subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in my next video until then